Hello and welcome to The Federal. PM Modi's convoy was halted on a flyover in Punjab on Wednesday for a good 20 to 25 minutes as protesters blocked the road. The Prime Minister was on his way to pay homage at the National Martyrs Memorial at Husainwala border in Firozpur district. He was scheduled to attend a poll rally in Poldbang, Punjab. Modi landed in Bhatinda on Wednesday morning, was to visit the memorial by helicopter, but he took the road as the weather was not suitable for air travel. The road travel would take two hours to reach the place, which is 100 kilometers away. Around 10 from the Rashli site, Modi's convoy was blocked by farm protesters. Following the blockage, his convoy had to return to Bhatinda Airport, where he had landed. After much blame game between the centre and the state about who was responsible for his security lapse, separate probes were to be launched to ascertain what exactly went wrong that day. But the Supreme Court has put both the investigations on hold till Monday. The centre's inquiry panel will have representations from the NIA and State Police Department as well. How exactly is the Prime Minister protected? Which departments are involved? And during travel, what is the protocol followed for the PM's safety? Let's find out. The Prime Minister's security is the responsibility of the Special Protection Group or SPG that is described as an armed force in the SPG Act. SPG officers are trained to show leadership and knowledge of proximate security at every crucial moment. When the Prime Minister travels, there is nothing that is left unplanned by the SPG. The minutest of details are planned with the help of state police, intelligence agencies and bureaucrats. The plans are drawn up with adherence to the SPG's Blue Book. The Prime Minister's travel itinerary is first shared with officers of the respective Chief Ministers, Home Minister, Directorate General of Police and the Chief Secretary. Days prior to the event, the SPG holds an advanced security liaison with all agencies responsible to provide security, including the Intelligence Bureau, State Police and the District Magistrate concerned. All details of the scheduled event are discussed and an ASL report is prepared based on which the SPG charts out security arrangements. The SPG Act has provisions for providing proximate security to the Prime Minister of India. According to the SPG Act, it is the protection provided from close quarters during a journey by road, rail, aircraft, watercraft or on foot or any other means of transport and shall include the places of functions of engagements, residence or halt. Ahead of the Prime Minister's visit, the SPG takes stock of every minute security aspect of the venue. From checking the entry and exit points, seeing that attendants are frisked, ensuring dice safety and auditing the fire safety of the venue. BSNL is also in the know to provide phone lines and internet connectivity near venues for the SPG and the PM's office to function. The weather of the scheduled day is factored in, any narrow routes are identified and fortified with more men and even bushes, if any on the route of the Prime Minister's cavalcade, are trimmed ahead of his visit. While the security planning is done under the leadership of the SPG, with at least 40 to 60 officers present with him at any given time, the state police has to ensure the overall security of the place, including gathering intelligence, clearing the route, sanitizing the venue and managing the crowd. State police usually secure the route by deputing officers as well as snipers on rooftops. A pilot from the state police is also entrusted with leading the Prime Minister's convoy. During meetings and rallies, which usually witness an overwhelming crowd, the local superintendent of police deputes officers in plain clothes, some of them even pretending to be party men. The SPG would only allow the Prime Minister to move after getting the go-ahead from the local police. But it is up to the central intelligence agencies to tip off the SPG about any imminent threat or security breach. There is always a plan B ready if the itinerary does not go as planned. In usual cases, it is the weather that causes a change, as it reduces visibility. In such cases, the Prime Minister takes the alternate route. In cases of protests, it is the local intelligence job to give inputs to the SPG on which groups are planning to protest on the event day and what steps have been taken to prevent and secure the path of the Prime Minister's cavalcade. In case a protest that has already been planned cannot be cancelled, the route where it would be held is avoided altogether. 
Yet one very big question that arises from this entire episode is that why did the SPG not drive the convoy back in reverse gear when they saw a group of protesters at the flyover? Since this is a special technique that the SPG have knowledge of. Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi has denied any security lapse on the part of his government and claimed that the Prime Minister did not wait for the protesters to clear the route and left before that. The BJP have thus far described this as a plot to assassinate the Prime Minister. Many are blaming the Punjab police for this breach, saying that they did not prepare well despite knowing that the PM was travelling by road and not air due to bad weather. BJP leaders also alleged that there was no jam till 10 minutes before the convoy reached. Punjab police in turn say that SPG had not followed their advice. Now, a new video footage released of the incident shows the special protection group personnel going back and forth on the route. In the over one minute video, the SPG personnel could be seen standing guard outside PM Modi's car. The Punjab police personnel could also be seen at the spot. PM's convoy has the capability to drive backwards in the same speed as they can go forwards. Since this protest was clearly like an ambush, why didn't the SPG take sturdy action and move from the place but instead chose to wait on the flyover, leaving the Prime Minister open for any such attacks? Only further investigations would reveal the cause for this security lapse. For more such videos, log on to thefederal.com.